Hello friends, I am quite sick right now. I have sinusitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. And I need some color therapy. Over quite a lot of videos, the last couple of weeks you have seen me do some dye shenanigans and it's finally time to do something with those dyed fluffs. Let's go. Let's see what we have got. Down over here is my fluff stash. Multiple drawers of colored fluff. Now, my plan for this is to make a fractal yarn. And here we have a rainbow of colors. So, we are going to card a multiple of three row legs out of each color and then we'll divide them later on to make the fractal part of this three ply yarn. Let's flipping go! So there we have a nice collection of roll eggs. Now let's sequence these because we're not going to spin them as they are. Let's. The first sequence shall be indeed entire Rolex, but the second sequence will be half Rolex, and the third sequence shall be quarter Rolex. And that looks a bit like this. So now that we have our sequences, it is time to get spinning. No, there is another thing we need to do. There is some spinning wheel maintenance that has to happen because after filming the art yarn video, I noticed that the flyer hooks on Rachel had worn through. So I ordered new ones and now we are going to give Rachel a spot treatment. How are you liking this, madam? Okay, let's... Unscrew these flyer hooks. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see this, but it's like a nasty jag in this hook and my yarn was always snagging on this, especially when plying. So that meant everything got over twisted. So hopefully with new flyer hooks, this is remedied. Rachel, I promise I'll be gentle. You won't feel a thing. with some shiny new jewelry. She's brand spanking new. Let's put some oil on her and then start spinning. Smooth. Yes, let's start this spinning. It feels like it's been ages since I've actually sat at a spinning wheel. Surely I can, I still know how to do this. Pulling so hard. Probably because I'm not used to you having such smooth fly hooks. Yes, that's better, thank you. You did not see that I screwed them on in the wrong direction. No, you still are just nothing. Probably might be some question as to how thick I am spinning this or what I will be using this yarn for but as per usual with my chaos brain I am just not thinking about that maybe it's more common among spinners to understand this but I just felt the need to spin I didn't matter what I just wanted to spin <laughs> I have been missing it because of well, other projects, as you saw, I have been doing a lot of knitting but also because of work and I'm really really happy just to be sitting behind my spinning wheel again. This is my zen space, my happy place. Happy days friends, I finished the first bobbin with the full Rolex. Let's see how that turned out. There you go, big blotches of color. I really like how the colors are going together, very autumnal I'd say. I also want to apologize. I reviewed yesterday's footage and the 
audio is abominable. I am now working with a microphone, but it was the first time I was working with it. And at one point I had forgotten I was working with a microphone and I had just thrown my braid over it. So you can hear all the hair to microphone scratches. Not really ASMR or anything enjoyable at all. But now I have my hair safely pinned on top of my head so it won't scratch the microphone. I also have put the microphone a little bit less sensitive than it was yesterday so hopefully the audio quality should be an improvement now because improvement that is what we're going for. My video on the cycling sweater that kind of exploded like baby viral not atomic bomb explosion but more like you left your bottle of champagne too long in the freezer explosion still terrifying but also magnificent so thank you all for watching that video welcome to, to approximately 150 extra subscribers i suddenly have but as i said an explosion is also a little bit terrifying while i saw the numbers increasing like i had to only blink and there was a new subscriber and a new 100 views on that video imposter syndrome being like yeah you don't deserve those subscribers look at the quality of your video and listen at the quality of your audio so yes here we are with a microphone let me know in the comments if you think this is better though also let me know in the comments if you came across this channel because of of my second sweater video. I would like to know. So I have spun up the first sequence of the half row leg and I have just realized that my math isn't completely mathing. I end and start every sequence with the same color. So that means now I have spun up the walnut brown and I have to spin another half row leg of walnut brown. So that makes an entire row leg of walnut brown, which is as long as everything I spun on the previous bobbin. But I also can't leave the second walnut brown half row leg out of this because then my bobbins will not be filled equally and everything will skip like half a row leg in the fractal sequence. So yeah, we'll just spin that second half row leg of walnut brown and see how it goes. <laughs> pray for me! Or pray for this yarn. <laughs> Probably a weird angle, isn't it? <laughs> it can down upon you. But only literally, never forget it. Really. And now you can look down upon me. Equal trade off. And here we are, a second bobbin filled. It's quite interesting to see how. I don't know what is interesting, Jente. Are you going to tell me or not? It's quite interesting to see them together. They are probably equally as thick, although I was quite concerned about the math, but then I realized I am a chaos goblin, so the little floofs aren't measured or weighed or anything, so chances are my fractal won't be perfect after all. Well, not after all. So chances are my fractal just won't be perfect because I just went as I always go just straight on <laughs> but we'll see these look great let's go for the last one the one with the quarter row legs good morning friends let's continue this fractal spin project I have about two more sequences to go on the quarter row leg spin that was a mouthful um, hopefully I can get this done in like about an hour and then we can get to the real exciting point, the plying of the three bobbins. So let's do this thing, let's go! I also feel like I should say something profound about fractals. But I got to be completely honest, the only thing I remember from maths class when they were talking about fractals is that we got the craft at the end of it. It was like a little cut-out cardboard card, that's all I remember. So, here goes Wikipedia. A fractal is a type of mathematical shape that are infinitely complex. 
In essence, a fractal is a pattern that repeats forever, and every part of the fractal, regardless of how zoomed in or how zoomed out you are, it looks very similar to the whole image. Fractals surround us in so many different aspects of life. These quarter row legs are amazing. It takes like 10 minutes or something to finish one of those. Actually, no scratch that. A quarter row leg only takes me about two minutes to spin. That's even faster than I thought. <laughs> Friends, the last sequence is upon us. I haven't explained to you what these colors are dyed with, so apologies for making an entire video about naturally dyed fluffs and not explaining how they were dyed up until now. Um, I hope I can remedy it with my explanation. These two are made with walnut peels. This one is, I think, a second dye bath because the darkest first dye bath is reserved for another project. And then this was, I think, a third dye bath because it's significantly, significantly uh, lighter than the other one. It's almost my skin color. And then we have the almighty, the mightiest of yellows, onion peels. My father-in-law saves them for me so I get bags and bags on end so I can have all the yellow in the world that I want. This one you saw, this is the hops, the leaves and the stems. And then this is ivy. My garden grows full with ivy, so that's more dye stuff than I'll ever need. But here is the, uh, the not the yellow, that's not yellow, and the, the green that comes from it. The purple is something I do not grow naturally here or I cannot get from my father-in-law. This is campesh or Brazil wood, which I bought via lostcraft.be, which is a Belgian store for weavers, dyers, spinners, but they have since relocated to France. Yay, for purple! Here they are, friends. Three full bobbins of full half and quarter row legs and now it is time to work our magic and start applying. But we need some help with that because Rachel is a vintage Wernicking Delft so I have to deal with the bobbins that I have which is just three. So Gillian be a dear and help your sister out will you? I must confess, this is actually the first time I am making a three-ply yarn. Or well, an actual, real three-ply yarn, because I have done some chain plying in the past, which of course also has three plies, but that's just made out of one single, single. So yeah, first time fractal yarn, first time three-ply yarn. We are making progress on this channel. Okay, now I got to bring you closer, because the first color change is going to happen. I'm not sure how clear it is on the camera, but we are now at the point that the second quarter row leg is changing and the first half row leg is changing so that's exciting now we will have three different colors in our yarn at the same time so cool <laughs>
quarter row leg bobbin is completely out of whack because I'm almost out of it and the other bobbins still have well quite a bit of singles left so I'm going to just finish these this one and then take last of Jillian's bobbins and then just fill it up with whatever I have left as a two ply We have completed the look of chaos in form of two skeins. It's a pity I wasn't able to put them in one skein, that would have been, I think, neater overall. But now I have two pretty skeins of a fractal tree ply yarn. I am really happy with them. The colors really play together really nicely into this really neat, beautiful autumn spectrum. This will make a very pretty decent project. But of course, I have to admit that there is this little bit of a two-ply yarn, which is also really beautiful, but it's more of a gradient. Well, it's a two-ply fractal gradient, but this one would never have existed if I was a proper, decent, respectable spinner and would have weighed my fluffs before I started spinning. But I am not a decent, respectable spinner. I am a chaos goblin, so then this happens. But life is full of surprises because I don't know what I'm going to do with these ones yet. But this one, I do have an idea with it. You will see that later. As for now, I thank you very kindly for watching. And if you enjoy these kind of fiber shenanigans, be them chaos or even more chaos, maybe you could like, comment or subscribe. That's all up to you. And as for me, I will see you in a next video. Bye. You know, white spinning wheels are aesthetically really pretty, but they also show you that how matter how hard I clean my fleeces, there is still so much of VM that comes out when spinning. This shit's dirty, yo. <laughs> Bye.